Peace and blessings, family. Andrew Day here. I am going to show you what I do to get ready for bed. Before I start this, I just want to say, to be quite honest with you, I actually really don't sleep. I don't sleep much at all. So this isn't really a like, get ready to go to bed with me thing. This is more like, if you don't sleep, here's how to look like you did, honey. So the first thing we're going to do is wash our face, cleanse. I mean, I'm not really doing a makeup removing thing here, but I'll make up for it by doing a mask. So I'm just gonna cleanse my skin. I love this cleanser. This is called Organic Clear. This is actually my friend's line. I didn't think I would like it. And I thought once I tried it, I would just have to like avoid him and be like, damn, I really don't like this. And it's gonna kill me to tell him. But this cleanser is actually so, 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 so good. And I put a lot of people onto it. So we're gonna start by washing our visage, honey. I just wet my hands first and then lather it up. You're supposed to be like gentle with your face and around your eyes and all that stuff and whatever, but like I'm just gonna just do as I say, not as I do. Bam. Okay. Uh, this cleanser is so great because like I said, it's organic, it's vegan. All the ingredients in it are clean and non-toxic. So the next step we're gonna do, and so I'm doing this for you. I don't do this all the time, um, this, this mask in particular, and it's just by Body Shop. It's called Himalayan Charcoal. This thing is ridiculous. You exfoliate as you put it on. So you scrub, you're like heating up the face. It dries down the clay, sucks out all of the toxins, and then it has a cooling effect as well too that kind of like refines and tightens everything. But here we go, you'll see. Okay, this mask is actually messy as hell, honestly but it takes all the nasties with it. I just use my hands, cause again, you're trying to exfoliate as well. So sometimes I just add a little extra in the areas where I need a little extra for cleansing and refining. And I'm gonna leave that on till it dries down. And I can't wait, I'm gonna come back and show you guys. I'm probably actually gonna keep this mask on for like 30 minutes. But when I come back and it dries, so you see how it starts to dry down like this, but once it's completely dry, and you can actually see it start to suck the oil out of your skin. So I'll show you guys when I come back. Love y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So the mask completely dried down. And as you can see around my nose and like my T-zone area mainly, all of those little dots are all the like oil and dirt that it's pulling out of my skin. So I'm about to rinse this off so you can see what my skin looks like once I'm done with this mask. Let's see, what are we working with? Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Um, and I'm gonna do one more cleansing step. Plus, I actually wanna introduce you guys, in case you don't know about already, donkey's milk soap. Mm, 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 the fatty acids in donkey's milk is so good for your skin. Bro. Actually, I got into it because I read a story of Cleopatra. She used to bathe in donkey's milk, and I was like, honey, that sounds luxurious, so I need to know what's up. And I'm like an all over lather type of person. So the whole like, just get your cheeks and don't do your eyes. I don't know. I just feel like this is faster, so. Okay. <laughs> my towel has my mask all over it. I have like my regular regimen. Um, and then sometimes it likes to be varied a little bit. So this is like my full extensive regimen. And one of the big parts for me is cleaning. I have to clean, cleanse and clarify my skin so I, I do, even after doing those three, two different face washes and that, <laughs> that face mask, detoxifying face mask, I still go in with an astringent. And I just honestly, some people might be like, this is horrible. And if you know a better one, I don't know, let me know, but I've been using this for a while. And so I go in upwards motion and I just continue to purify. I call this purifying, clarifying stuff. <laughs> I do my ears too, and I do my neck. And when you do your neck, well, one thing a dermatologist told me was not, don't take this same pad and go back to your face. So just do your neck. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is a toner. Um, this is the La Mer, the tonic, their toner. I love their toner. You know, a toner is, I know I hear toners refine your pores and all that stuff all the time, and they do and some do, but the real purpose of a toner is actually to balance your skin's pH. And I do think there is a little pore refining in it, if you can see, I think so. So I do everything, honestly, when I do my skincare, you guys, I do my 
face, my chin, my ears, my neck, even the back of my neck and my decollete and decollete, my decollete, and even my uh, breasts, but I'm not gonna do that on camera, obviously. After that, even though I know I just did a toner. So this product, this is called, this is line is called Solvederm. Um, I just discovered this stuff like last year. So this, to I thought I was buying their toner when I was buying this. And it wasn't until I was using it for like two weeks and I loved the effect on my skin. I didn't see this until later, neck and chest. I didn't know that's what it was for. No, I did not stop using it on my face because I loved what it was doing to my face. So, spread, sis, turn around. I feel like I use like this too much of everything, but it's okay, whatever. You should be gentle on your skin, but I'm just getting through this right now, okay? Bam, you see what I'm saying? There's something about this product. I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't know what it is, y'all. But it's something. Okay, so next thing we're gonna move on to, I use this, it's called The Mist. It is the La Mer, I don't know, revitalizing spray. It's soothing and it's revitalizing, especially after I do that mask, the one that I'm, you know, I'm doing kind of like an abrasion and it's pulling toxins out of my skin. So I just wanna kind of soothe and calm. And then I also heard that your skin receives moisture better. Um, when it's a little damp. So this I kind of, this sort of sets me up to put all of the moisture back into my skin that I just kind of, you know, just kind of stripped out of it. And then from there, I'll move on to the La Mer Infused Lotion. I am obsessed with this product. Blend, 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 honey, blend, blend, like you like to pin down. So you just put in your fingertips like that. Um, it's kind of like a, um, an essence, maybe, I guess. This is like, I feel like the closest thing I can sort of compare it to. And then the next thing we're gonna do is serum. Sometimes I put the little eye patches on. I'll just show you actually so you can see. Sometimes I put these Peter Thomas Roth Detox, Cucumber Detox Hydrogel eye patches. These are some of the only eye patches that I've seen that actually work for, um, work for my under eyes because as you guys can see I have it's genetic honestly and I don't sleep very much so I have a super 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 dark just under eyes and around my eyes so I just try to do some things to just brighten them um part of that is hydrating I forgot to mention that earlier drink your water um so I'm just gonna go into my serum my serum situation is a little crazy I use this um prestige cell this concentrated serum I got this in Korea when we were in Seoul and I just remember messing with it in the store and being like me and my friend were like hold on sis is your skin getting better as I'm looking at you but it's too good to be true so you don't want to acknowledge it she was like yes and I was like bet let's get all of them so I have this serum I do use the Chanel they lift serum I also use the Chanel blue antioxidant serum I also use the drops of youth these have plant stem cells in them from the body shop I use the La Mer Regenerating Serum, the La Mer The Serum Essence. And uh, last but definitely not least, I use the BioLifting Serum by Shantikai. So I know this sounds crazy and it is crazy. And so all of these dermatologists and estheticians are gonna be like, woo, woo, woo. But it works for me and my skin looks really good once I'm done using it. So like I said, tap that is honey. Okay, so the trick for me here is to just a teeny little drop of all of these. They all do something different. They all do something different. They all do something a little similar, obviously, because they're all serums, but they all do something a little different. And I've tried a bunch of different serums and like put things together. And this is like a combination of serums that is really, really good for my skin. Okay. So this is what I basically look like when I'm done, it's a mess. I just mix all of that together. You definitely don't wanna do it in layers, but again, I'm not gonna, I'm not here to preach you about no skin nothing. I'm just showing you what works really well for my skin. So if it works for you to put on all these as a layer, I don't know, do it. I rub that in, I put that again on my neck and my ears, and then I'll later on off camera, I'll do that. So next, we're gonna move on to the eye creams. So I'm gonna start actually with an eye serum. I This is just a sample, honestly, because I just like had to pick up some things and they gave me the sample of this eye serum. I'm always trying stuff for my eyes because again, like I said, it's just like darkness becomes you under there. 
And my makeup artist was telling me, you know, you got to try an eye serum. So I just looked at a couple of them and then I got this free sample from them. So I said, why not try it? And so far it's been okay. You know, I don't know if I've noticed like a huge difference, but it's been cool. Pat, 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 pat. A lot of eye creams and serums are really good for like fine lines and wrinkles. So anywhere I have like fine lines or even deep lines, I kind of place it there as well too, just because I'm extra. Shablam. Um, now this next product, see, I'm giving you guys the full Monty right now, but this La Mer, um, the eye and expression cream, so, so, so good. I love this tool. I don't know how it stays so cool, but I love this little tool that comes with it so that you can actually buff out lines and honestly is like my favorite, favorite eye cream. I just kind of go out like this. This is suggested in the manual. Okay, so we just did our eye care. And then since it's nighttime, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite products. It is, yes, you guessed it, another La Mer product, but she's so good to me. This is the Concentrated Night Balm. Yummy, just yummy. So I'm gonna go in here, this is what she looks like. Hey. And I warm it up in my hands a little bit. Move and press and move and press and it feels so good. Oh my god, my skin feels so moisturized. I feel like my skin's like, thank you, yay. And I'm like, anything for you, baby. Everything, once I do all the clarifying and all the cleansing, the balancing, um, the refining, you know, everything is to put moisture back into your skin. So just as much as you take out, you need to put even more into your skin. So the next thing that I would do, I don't know if I should do this. But this is the other, this is another mask and it's only like a 10 minute mask. It's a La Mer, the intensive revitalizing mask. And you just liberally put this all over your face and you let it soak in for 10 minutes. And then you just tissue the excess off and work it in. And it all depends on the condition of my skin. For tonight, I'm gonna put my moisturizing combination on. But the other thing I do sometimes, depending on how my skin feels, um, is I'll do, I'll put the this saffron face oil. Saffron and turmeric are like the best spices in the world for your skin. Saffron's like the most expensive spice in the world. So this is just a really, really great face oil. Just make sure you get it from the right place because some of them have different ingredients in them. So you want to make sure they're natural, they're organic. But for tonight, I'm going to do my moisturizing because this is kind of like my regular um, moisturizing routine. I do this in the daytime as well too. And then in the daytime, I'll add an SPF over it, but I'll show you what SPF that is because it is like my hero, hero product. I've been using it for years and it really helped to fix my skin. I have multiple moisturizers that I mix together. So again, still the same thing. It has to go on as one layer, but I do mix three different moisturizers. So I use the Chanel Hydro Beauty Cream. I just use a touch of that. I use that same brand from Korea. Their moisturizer is amazing. Uh, Prestige Cell Concentrated Cream. I use a little bit of that. And then I also use a little bit of the La Mer, the Creme de La Mer. La Mer Moisturizing Cream. And I've tried a bunch of different moisturizers and these, this combination of these really, really works great, great, great for my skin. And the very last step in it, what I do is usually put just one drop of sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn oil is so great for protecting your skin. It's very, very rich in omega-7s and omega-3, but omega-7s are much more elusive. And so it's a really great thing internally and externally. So I actually put this in shakes in the morning as well too. So I'm gonna get a little dash of this, a little dash of that. We in here cooking. And so we're gonna massage in and press up, but also press into the skin. Or, well, you could do whatever you want to, but this is what I do. Uh-oh, she looking like we got some hours. Did she get some hours? Hold on, did you get, how many hours did you get? Damn, I forgot to put my sea buckthorn oil on. So I'm just gonna have to do that separately. <laughs> Mix those together. Oh, oh. She looks like an orange, everybody. Welcome to Pride Rock. My name is Simba. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so. The very last step is honestly pure organic vitamin E oil. I found this works amazing, not just for those breakout things, but also for like different fine lines. So I have like deeper lines on my head. And so sometimes I'll just rub those, just a little bit of this on at night. 
And the other thing for scarring, which obviously I have here, um, and like here where I used to get acne so, so, so bad. So I have like, and like really cystic acne, so I have like kind of deep scars. Um, but there's really nothing better for your scars than silicone. Um, so I have this ProSil silicone stick for scars. I actually have noticed a big difference in my scars with this little stick. And then just do like a touch of vitamin E and plop that on just over any, wherever any lines might find their way. And then we're gonna move on to eggs. Oh, also, so sea buckthorn, sea buckthorn oil is just really great for like getting rid of lines and any wrinkles and just, and um, so I do actually just like a touch of it on my lips too. I do just a teeny bit of it on my lips. Uh, I put this on first and then, so genetics is what it's called, activated lip lift. It's um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So the ingredients in it are almond oil, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, CoQ10, rose essential oil, peppermint essential oil. All of it's organic, but the key, key, key ingredient in this honey is Jimu oil. Get into it if you don't know about Jimu oil. So this, I was on set actually, and my hairstylist, Tony, shout out Tony again, I love you, was like, Andrew, did you get your lips done? I was like, no. And he was like, you could tell me the truth. Well, he was not believing me at all. But then I realized, I says, oh, you know, and so I told him about this lip treatment that I do at night. And so it's so good for plumping and it smooths your lips and just makes them look so great and moisturized. So that, and the very last thing I put on there is this, I don't know how to say that name and I feel like I shouldn't try and butcher it. Lineage, lineage, lingerie, lingerie. Sleeping Care, this is a lip sleeping mask. This flavor is like sweet candy, but they have a couple other ones. So I just take a little bit of this and I just put it on over everything. I'm kind of generous with this just cause I kind of treat it more as like a mask. Boom, 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 pow. Yeah, anyway, that is what, oh, wait, wait, wait. We have one last step. So the very, very last step to my skincare regimen is this little drink. Because as most of you already know, good skincare starts from the inside out. So you wanna hydrate, you wanna put good things in your body. So this is called Tot, a collagen replenishing formula with grapeseed extract, as you probably just read on the label like I did. This is a great collagen drink and you just take one every night before you go to bed. Uh, the other thing is, you guys, if you are taking collagen, powder form, liquid form, whatever, which by the way, a powder form or liquid form of collagen breaks down better than supplements. So oh, you always wanna go for that. If you are taking these, the collagen, please make sure you're actually taking zinc as well too. So zinc um, is actually what helps to sort of help collagen to do what it needs to do in your body and do all those amazing, wonderful things. So yes, bottoms up. <laughs> I think the best way I could describe the flavor of this is like orange and papaya. The very last thing I always do, especially because I have braids in my hair, and as all of y'all know, I have any type of braids or twist styles or anything like that, you gotta take care of it. So I clarify my scalp with um, like an apple cider vinegar root rinse. And then I go in with this essential oil blend here from Stacy Merriman. This is amazing because one of the ingredients in it is a uh, Peppermint oil. So peppermint oil is actually the best oil really for hair growth, one of the best oils for hair growth. But the other thing about peppermint oil is that it is um, antibacterial and so it just keeps any bacteria build up or anything. So it keeps your scalp very, very clean. So I just kind of put that all over with a little dropper. Oh my God, this feels so good. So the reason you do a scalp massage, you guys obviously, most of you probably know, is just because it promotes blood circulation and blood circulation promotes hair growth. So we are done with that. And then I have one last step that you all will recognize, okay? Bam. So this is the final step in my go to bed with me. You know, these oversized bonnets are actually so good. You know, this is satin bonnet. Uh, you know, you wanna protect your hair, protect your crown, honey. And Grace Alea has these great oversized satin bonnets that fit all my twists and fit all my braids so I can sleep comfortably and my hair is up and protected. 
Um, thank you so much for joining me. As you can see, I haven't slept, but what does it look like? Is she glowing? She's glowing. Uh, this is my nighttime skincare routine. Thank you guys for joining me. And let's go to sleep. Mwah. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Peace.